is Hono actually faster than Express? Today, I'm gonna to put it to the test by running my own benchmarks. But before I do that, let's take a look at the benchmarks on the Hono webpage. So here we can see they used a dozen different routes. And in this first example, a slash user endpoint was 9.9 .9 times faster than Express. Uh, user comments was 8.74 times faster than Express. So that's pretty good performance, but here's my problem with that. This does not represent a real world app. Uh, a dozen routes is not enough. In a real production app, you probably have a hundred different routes. So what I did is I went ahead and I created my own app and it does have a hundred routes and it does have validation and it reads and writes to a database. So it's far more realistic. And I'm gonna run my benchmarking against that app. So let me show you what I have. First, I'm gonna walk you through the Express app that I have, then I'll run the benchmarks on this, then I'll show you the Hono app and I'll run the benchmarks on that. Then when we have all the data, I'll put it into a Google Sheet and we can look at it side by side. So the first thing I wanna point out with this Express app are the decoys. So I've created 100 decoy routes and these are an assortment of get, post, put, and delete routes. And the purpose of these is to really put the router to the test because the router is gonna to have to sift through all 100 of these decoys before coming down to the four routes that I actually want to benchmark. So now let's talk about these routes that I'm gonna benchmark. Here, I'm starting off with a simple slash hello world. And then I'm gonna come down here to this slash books route. And this is where things get real. So this one has a middleware to run validation on these query params. And the validation is run with Zod. So we'll validate the min price and max price. And then we're gonna query the database for a list of books between that price range. Then I have a route where we pull off a URL param. So that would be the book ID. We're going to run Zod validation again here, and we're going to query the database to get that book. And finally, the fourth route we're going to benchmark is a post request. So this is where we're actually going to add a book into the database. So we have Zod validation middleware again, and we will then post to the database. And here I'm using a SQLite database that I filled up with 100 books using Faker. So now let me show you that this app actually works. So I'm going to run a few... Uh, HTTP requests, and I'm going to use this VS Code extension called REST Client. So this REST Client extension works with the .http files, and it enables me to be able to send these requests inside of VS Code, which is super handy. So let's start this server up. And now that this is running, I can go ahead and send request and we get back our hello world response. Great, so we can see that's working. And now we have our query params, min price, max price. Let's test this out. And we can see we're getting back a list of books between that price range. Looks good. And I wanna show you that the validation is working too. So I put max price of hello here, which is gonna cause an error. So we get back that, hey, this thing needs to be a number. Great, and then let's test out using a URL ID. So we give it this book ID and we get back the book. Looks good. And if we give it a bad ID, we wanna see that the validation is working here too. Great, it says, hey, this needs to be a UUID. And if we do a post request and we send this in, we can see we get back an ID, so our book was created. And then finally, let's just make sure our decoy routes are working too. Awesome, everything looks good. So now let me show you how I'm gonna do the benchmarking. I'm going to use AutoCannon to do the benchmarking. So this is a benchmarking tool, and this is going to enable me to fire up 100 concurrent connections to my app, which is going to simulate a real world situation, and we can see how it performs in that environment. Now it's time to benchmark this Express app. So here I've set up four different scripts. They're all using AutoCannon. They'll create 100 concurrent connections and spam these different endpoints for five seconds. So let's run our first one on the Hello World endpoint and see what happens.
All right, so here's our results. This is the number that I'm really focused on here is requests per second. So we're averaging 26,574 requests per second on that Hello World endpoint. All right, so let's go ahead and run our next one, which is going to provide that min price query param. And we can see our request per second, 12,000, which makes sense now that we're actually hitting the database. It's going to be a lot less than just that hello world. Now let's query the books by ID. So I'm going to go ahead to the SQLite database, and I'm going to grab number 80. And I'm going to do the same exact thing in the Hono app because I want this to be um, as fair as possible. So we'll put that number 80 in there and we will run the third benchmark okay request per second 17,000 so a bit faster than querying by the minimax price so that makes sense and finally our fourth uh, benchmark is to do a post request. So we are going to actually insert data into the database and here the data is just title of benchmark, author, Mr. Bench, genre, Benchy, and a price of 10. So let's go ahead and run this final benchmark. Okay, and the request per second was only 2,000, which makes sense because here we're actually writing to the database, which would take the longest. And then if we go just for fun, check out our SQLite database, we can see we went from having 100 records to now having 11,000 rows. So it, uh, it worked, it ran, it definitely inserted a bunch of benchmark Mr. Benchies into the database. Cool. All right, now it's time to take a look at our Hono app. Now I'm going to quickly walk you through the Hono app just to prove to you that this app is exactly the same as the Express app. So here I have my four book routes, and the first one is a Hello World. The second one uh, gets books between a price range and uses Zod middleware for validation and then queries from the database, same as the Express app. And then we have a book, uh, get book by ID, where we have Zod middleware validation, and then we fetch from the database. And finally, we have our post request where we validate and then we create the book in the database. And down here, we register our 100 decoy routes before our book routes so that the router has to sift through all of these and the decoy routes are the same as well. So we have the gets, the posts, the puts, and the deletes, and everything is looking good here. And we have a SQLite database, which has 100 records in it of books created by Faker. Cool. So now let's go ahead and run our benchmarks. Our benchmarks are also the same, so I'm using AutoCannon, 100 concurrent connections, and 5 seconds. Let's go ahead and test out this Hello World endpoint. And here are requests per second. We can see 63,000, so that's definitely faster than Express. Um, let's keep going. I'm going to put these all on a Google Sheet at the end. All right, 18,700 requests per second. Now for the third one, if you remember from last time, I went and grabbed number 80 from the database. And just to make things as consistent as possible, I'm grabbing 80 and we are going to replace this ID with that. And now we can run the third benchmark. And we get 30,000 requests per second. And now finally we have our post benchmark where we're gonna insert a bunch of data into our database. Let's make it happen. All right, 2,500 requests per second. And if we take a look at our SQLite database, just for fun, again, we can see we now have 12,700 rows instead of what we started with of 100. So our benchmarking definitely ran. 
So here is the moment of truth. We can see that Hono is faster in all four scenarios, which is pretty impressive. So I went ahead and ran a calculation here, and we can see that Hono was 2.4 times faster with the basic get request. It was 1.6 times faster when it needed to get a query param that was validated with Zod and then read from the database. And it was 1.8 times faster here getting the URL param uh, with validation and reading from the database and 1.2 times faster with validation and writing to the database. So Hono is faster. I love it. I'm going to keep using Hono definitely. Uh, what I'll say, though, is on their website, they were claiming to be 8 to 10 times faster than Express. And when you put that to the test with a real-world production app, that's not the case. The uh, performance advantage is not that dramatic, but that's okay. So I hope you like this video. I hope this helps you out. If you want to double check my work, I'm going to leave a link to the code in the description so you can run these benchmarks on your own if you want. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe to help out the channel. If there are any tutorials you'd like me to do, drop a comment below. And as always, happy coding and Godspeed.